Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. Today we have the battle of the oceanic versus the citrus scent. On your left, we have Nautica Voyage. It's an EDT, and it was released in 2006, and it was made in the United States, the good old U.S. of A., and on your right, we have Azaro Chrome. It's an EDT, and this is the original Azaro Chrome, and it's made in France. On the opening for the Nautica Voyage, you get a green, woody freshness that's an oceanic, clean, aromatic, not surprisingly, hence the name. It's just a hint of citrus, and it's a soft and fresh citrus in the background, but it's very much oceanic and green. And on your right for the Zaro, the opening, you get the famous fresh lemon zest and neroli, bergamot, a little bit of rosemary herb. And if you're wondering what neroli is, it's a plant blossom. And quoting Fragrantica, quote, citrusy, light, slightly bitter note, with hints of orange and honey, blossom facets, purifying aromatic green, unquote. Fragrantica can get uh, pretty uh, descriptive sometimes. And um, anyway... So that's the openings for this, both of the scents. And then moving on to the mids, once it settles down about 10, 15 minutes on your skin, the mids for the Nautica Voyage, you get a fresh oceanic sea breeze type of scent that's cooling in nature. It retains some of the woody and green opening, and it's got a nice, fresh, high-end soap type of scent. For the Azaro Chrome, the mids are fresh citrus that is still retained. It's less lemony. It's more bergamot with some slightly bitter notes in the background. And I think some of the uh, neroli lends to the uh, bitter notes in the background. But it's a very fresh citrusy scent. And the uh, bitter notes lend some interest to the scent. And then once it settles down on the skin after about 10-15 uh, minutes, the nautical voyage, it ends up being a fresh aquatic oceanic sea breeze type of scent with lotus notes, L-O-T-U-S notes, and it's got some cedar wood in the back with just a hint of musk. And then on the settle down phase for the Azaro Chrome, you get a very fresh citrus aromatic with some slight spice tones from the bergamot and neroli. Some of the things I don't agree with Fragrantica, some of the notes for the uh, Nautica Voyage that is listed on Fragrantica that I don't agree with. I don't think it has amber or oak moss. And then on the Azaro Chrome, I don't agree with Fragrantica saying that it has tonka bean, pineapple, and cedar, and musk. I don't get that at all. Moving on to performance, the Nautica Voyage, it settles on the skin about 5-10 minutes, and then it'll last you about 4-6 to six hours. And then for the Azaro Chrome, it settles on your skin about 5-10 minutes, similar. And similarly, it lasts around 4-6 to six hours. So performance-wise, they're both about the same. On the masculinity scale, 1 out of 10. The Nautic Voyage is 7 out of 10. And on the Zaro Chrome, it's an 8 out of 10. It's more of a masculine scent. And on the price-wise, there's a big difference. For the Nautic Voyage... This is where it really shines. This is a very bargain-priced scent, but it's a quality scent. For 100 mils, you can buy it for about $20. You can't go wrong with the price on the Nautica Voyage. 
And then on the Azaro Chrome, the pricing, it widely varies. For 100 mils, I've seen prices as low as $35 with the discount sites and then uh, as high as $100 for retail. So look for your discounts and uh, shop around for it. Um, and as you can see, uh, my sorry looking bottle of Azar Chrome, um, I'm going to uh, need to go out and buy some. And in fact, this is one of my uh, first uh, refresh buys of a uh, men's fragrance uh, from my collection. I have over 50 in my collection. And since I have so many, uh, I've kind of rotated fragrances and have used a little bit of each one. However, the Azaro Chrome, I've used quite a bit since I kept it in my car and uh, done a lot of spraying while it has been in my car. So I've used it a lot. And um, this is only a 1.7 ounce bottle. So it's um, gotten a lot of use. Plus it's a smaller bottle and it's a good scent. So it's a bottle, it's a scent that I do want to buy again, and it's one of the first bottles that I'm going to actually buy again. So um, that's noteworthy. Um, in conclusion, the Nautica Voyage is a uh, great bargain of a scent, and it's great for beginners because of the pricing. And, and for in intermediate collectors, it's a great scent for an oceanic type of profile. And for the Zaro Chrome, it's a quality starter citrus scent. And for the intermediate, it's a widely popular scent. So you can't go wrong with the Zaro Chrome as a popular, pleasant scent. And I have a story about the Zaro Chrome. Since I kept it in the car, I went into my um, uh, ice cream shop one day and uh, before I went in there, I did some uh, freshening up with a Zaro Chrome. And the uh, young lady behind the counter, um, while I was waiting in line, she had to come on out from the counter and do something out on the uh, uh, on our side of the uh, counter. And when she passed me by, she says, by the way, you smell amazingly great. <laughs> and that was a great compliment. And it's always great to get uh, nice compliments from people. So I know it's a winner of a compliment-getting fragrance. So uh, go out and get some. All right, I think that covers it all. Um, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I greatly appreciate it. I could use uh, more subscribers and uh, comments. And uh, why don't you comment below and tell me what fragrance in your collection that uh, you're definitely going to refresh and buy again. And um, we'll see you later. <laughs>